What's up YouTube, Tactical Sweet here once again. Thanks for watching. So in today's video, we're gonna be removing this old quad rail off my AR, and we're gonna be installing a new handguard from these guys right here, Stinger USA. Um, I found these guys through my boy Coda Boy 32 uh, Thanks again for that suggestion, brother. Uh, so I started looking into them, and I really, really liked what I saw, both from a design standpoint, um, the, they look really cool, and then on top of that, they are a small, family-owned U.S. business. And I've said in the past, I, I, I love to support those kind of companies. And as much as possible, I do like to buy made-in-the-U.S. products. Um, so definitely a plus there. And then their price. Man, their prices can't be beat. Um, they're, all their rails, they have three different versions uh, of of their handrails um, and they come in either M-Lock like this or key mod versions as well. Um, but all those handguards are gonna be right around that hundred dollar mark. Um, you know the shorter obviously the shorter ones the you know 10 inch or 13 and a half inch um, they're gonna be a little cheaper the 15 inch that we have here is gonna be the more expensive because there's more material. But you know hundred and ten dollars for this. Uh, compare that to your big names like your Midwest Industries or you know Seekins or something like that and uh, compare their prices um, those guys you're gonna be spending 150 200 or more um, for for one of their handguards so uh, definitely great value there so right now we're gonna get into installing this uh, we'll start with uh, taking this quad rail off and from what I've seen as I said very easy to install it's probably gonna be harder to take this one off than it is to put this one on so let's start getting into it and tearing this down. All right, first step in removing the quad rail off of this uh, M&P 15 here is two Allen wrenches on either side. I'm gonna take those off and that should loosen up the quad rail to come off. All right, screws out and our quad rail slides off. Alright, so one of the nice things about the barrel nut on this handguard, if you look, it's just a round barrel nut. No keyways or anything like you see here uh, for the gas tube to go through. Um, the problem with barrel nuts like this that have a keyway is, you know, sometimes you have to shim them to get the proper torque value to get those keyways to line up at the proper torque. Um, so that's a nice bonus. You don't have to worry about that. You just torque this down to the proper torque setting and then your gas tube is just going to ride over the top of it into the receiver. Alright, so we've been beating on this gas block pin here for about five minutes and it finally started to move, but man it was such a pain in the ass. Uh, we're going to finish tapping this thing out though. Smaller punch. There she goes. Jeez, that thing was a pain in the ass. All right, so we'll set that aside. And we do have two set screws down here. Let's pop off. And hopefully, the gas block itself is not frozen in place. I'm going to go ahead and pop the gas tube pin out. Right. We're going to pop the barrel off first and then work with it just on the barrel to make it a little bit easier. Take our armor's wrench here. And we'll get this barrel off. Give it a little twist in here and it's moving. You can see it's 
starting to break loose there. There she goes. All right. Oh, forgot to take the muzzle device off. <laughs> See if we can get a good grip on that. Now, reminder, if you're living in one of them, one of them states that makes you uh, pin and weld your stuff, this is going to be a much more difficult job. But if you live in a free state, not too bad. All right. So now our old barrel nut comes off. It's all set aside. And start the new barrel nut on. Put a little grease on this thing first. And then usually what I'll do is I'll thread this on there. Hand tight. that grease in the threads. Alright, so the handguard is going to come with the wrench for the barrel nut. I got my torque wrench here. My torque wrench is in inch pounds, so I had to convert the instructions, which are in foot pounds, to inch pounds. So the first torque, it says 30 foot pounds, which is 360 inch pounds. So I got her set to 360. And give her a turn. Here we go. Now it says if more torque is needed, slightly increase the torque. Um, I'm just going to kind of put it in that mid range between 30 and 60. So we're going to go, we're probably going to go about 500 inch pounds. Put our gas block back on, put our muzzle device back on, and put the handguard on. Actually, I'm going to give this gas tube a little cleaning first. Alright, clean that up a little bit. Now, as I said, nice thing about this barrel nut is there is no keying required for the gas tube. So you just slide her in there, get it lined up. And we will repin. The gas tube now. Alright, then we get our 
muzzle device back on, and we'll be ready to put the handguard on. Alright, now I already put on the, the MBUS backup sights on here. Slide this into place. Now, this little groove here in the barrel nut, you got this little plate with the little nub there that's going to lock into here, and that is going to lock into that barrel nut groove and keep it from moving. So we slide this in here and install our two screws. It's going to go on the other side. There we go. Looking pretty badass. Now I'll go back through and I'll put Loctite on those here in a little bit. I also have a, uh, a new hand stop, a little Magpul hand stop I'm going to throw on here. So get that stuff installed and we'll be right back with the finished product. Alright guys, so there you go. Man, what a difference. Uh, ridding myself of this big bulky quad rail and that big old honking AFG on there. And going to this nice, super clean, slick Stinger Viper handguard and that... I really dig that Magpul uh, hand stop there. It's a lot nicer, a lot less bulky than this AFG was. But man, yeah, what a difference. Um, even though this is a much longer handrail than that other one was, it's it's really, it feels lighter. I'll have to weigh it, but it actually feels like I saved myself some weight. Um, and it's definitely nicer to grip. Um, can't wait to get her out on the range and test it, but damn, she looks good. So, yeah, man, like I said, easy, quick installation. Uh, it's getting the, getting the old stuff off was harder than putting this one on. Very simple installation once you get all the stuff off. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you got any questions, uh, let me know down there in the comments. And uh, as always, guys, if you like what I'm doing, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up there. Stay up to date with any new videos we got coming out. We will catch you next time. Till then, live life and have fun out there.